Bedtime with Mrs. Honeybee. Today, we'll be exploring the world of trolls. All you have to do is close your eyes, get cozy, and listen to the sound of my voice. Mrs. Honeybee will be your guide. Let's begin. Yellow sunshine spills in through your window as you sit on the floor of your room. The carpet is nice and soft beneath you as you relax and play with your toys. The room is very still and quiet until you hear a sudden tapping at your window. No one has ever knocked on your window. Who could it be? You slowly turn your gaze to the window and see King Peppy is waving at you from behind the glass. His long wild hair sticks up all over his head. He pushes open the window and waves you toward him. He seems to be out of breath. We have a big problem, he says, gasping and looking a little worried. The Bergens have kidnapped Princess Poppy. Will you help me rescue her? You nod quickly. Of course you'll help your troll friends. Before leaving, you rush around your room, filling a backpack full of things you might need on your adventure. King Peppy is still sitting on the windowsill when he reminds you, there's no time to spare, we must hurry. You and King Peppy climb through your window and begin your journey. Your feet crunch leaves as you head through the forest with King Peppy on your shoulder. He is really enjoying the ride because he never gets to see the world from all the way up here. The wind is calm and cooling and pushing King Peppy's hair way back and he looks so silly. When he notices you smiling at him, he makes a funny face and you both laugh together. Along the way, you try to plan out what you both can do to save the princess. King Peppy hops down off your shoulder and in the dirt, he draws a map of where the Bergens live. He illustrates the mountains on one side and the clear path going through them. He is busy drawing out a map when you take a deep breath in through your nose and notice how warm the sunshine is against your face. You breathe out and tilt your head back to admire the sky's pretty shade of light blue. Now that he has drawn a map of the Bergen's territory, you feel confident you'll be able to save Princess Poppy. Over the breeze, you can hear the Bergens talking and their heavy footsteps stomping throughout their little city. You can't tell how many, but it sounds like a lot of them. What should we do? King Peppy asks you as you begin to get closer to the Bergens. You think hard for a few moments before a great idea pops into your head. After you explain your daring plan, King Peppy's eyes get big and bright. That's a great idea, he says. You want me to go all the way to the other end of the canyon and make a bunch of noise to distract the Bergens? You nod happily and give Peppy a big thumbs up. If all goes according to your plan, the Bergens will investigate the noise the king makes and you'll be able to swoop in and save Princess Poppy. When I say no troll left behind, I mean no troll left behind. King 
King Pepe takes off through the grass toward the other end of the canyon. The green leaves rustle around him as he runs. Just a few moments later, you hear a loud thud in the distance. It sounds like King Pepe is drumming away on something. He's making a lot of noise. The Bergens are puzzled by the noise. The Bergens head toward the sound and begin to leave their city. The plan is working. You peek your head around the corner to see if the coast is clear. There are still two Bergens defending the city. You'll have to sneak around them. Slowly and quietly, you tiptoe down the path toward their city, sneakily putting one foot in front of the other. Being as silent as a little mouse, you sneak around the Bergens and are looking in every window for Princess Poppy. You know you must be close. You continue walking, looking left, then looking right, scanning everything in your vision for clues to where the princess is. There's a small shack to your left with a few pink hairs caught on the door. You look closer and realize these are strands of Princess Poppy's hair caught on the door. You rip open the door and find the princess. She smiles, gives you a big hug, and is so happy to see you. You both smile at each other, and then remember, there's no time to waste. You scoop up the princess and dash as fast as you can down the street and away from Bergen Town. You run as fast as you can, far, far, far away from the Bergens and back to the safety of the Troll's home. Back at the Troll's home, King Peppy and all of your Troll friends are waiting. They're so excited that you saved the princess. Thank you, says King Peppy, and he gives you a happy high five. You are the best friend a Troll could ask for. You grin from ear to ear as music begins to play. The cheery beat fills the air. The sun is settling now and the sky is slowly getting darker. But you all might just celebrate all night long. With all your troll friends around you and Princess Poppy next to you, you are happy and relaxed. Always remember that Mrs. Honeybee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>